special family welcome to another video if you're new here hi i'm an autism mom and on this channel we talk about everything autism and special need or sometimes children related i saw the most disturbing video on tiktok and i had to share it with you so this is a fair use reaction video let's get into the video if you think america is the heart of modern civilization this story will surely change your mind there, a trade in unwanted children exists, and the way they do it is distressing. It's known as rehoming, and when parents decide they no longer want their adopted child, they simply advertise them on websites to lure prospective new parents. It's as straightforward as getting rid of an old fridge on eBay. There's no vetting or court orders required, and these disposable children can be handed over to anyone. In fact, until you see it, it's difficult to believe. And we should warn you, it's quite confronting. First up, we have Alicia. Alicia is a very special and very sweet young lady who is looking for her forever family. She describes herself as It's a parade like no other. Abandoned children desperately selling themselves to win over a new family, a new start. She also likes drawing and doing arts and crafts. And in the audience, sizing them up to find a perfect match are their potential parents. OK, Michaela, you look so That is my girl. Travelling to this so-called matching event today is Tom, a teacher with no children, who is interested in 14-year-old Frank, given up by his adopted family two years ago and now living in a care home. Today is important because I get a chance to kind of be a part of something, you know, part of a family that I've been waiting to be a part of for a very long time now. If something happens, then we'll pursue it, and if not, no, not a big deal, nothing gained, nothing lost. But Frank is anxious to make something happen. He has much to lose and only two hours to convince Tom he's worthy of adoption. I'm trying to show him the brightest aspects of me and to let him know what the darkest ones are. Frank has sold himself well. Tom agrees to give his new son a trial run and will collect him in 15 days' time. Thank you, do the same. But six months later, Tom decides they're not compatible. And again, Frank can only hope and wait to find a family who wants him forever. To see those children trying to sell themselves to it, find it, a forever family, is, what does that do to your stomach? Oh, it turns it, it. It is appalling that we get to a place as unseemly as this. Appalling. It is distressing, tragic, and completely legal. Here in the US, it's a phenomenon known as rehoming, where, along with matching events, troubled kids are advertised, like goods on eBay, and given to anyone who'll take them. Mostly, they're adopted and often wear the scars of abuse and neglect. Most disturbingly, their parents have decided they no longer want them. It could be here in New oh, York City. It could be here in New York. It could be, it could be in Boston. Could be... For Adam Pertman, from the Boston-based National Center on Adoption and Permanency, rehoming is the heartless result of desperation. Desperate people do stupid things and desperate things. There should be legal structures and social structures and professionals who know what the hell they're doing around all of this. If it's not, if we don't protect vulnerable children, who do we protect? It's an underground trade in children that could be happening in any suburb across America. It's estimated that there is something like 24,000 foreign adoptees who are no longer with their adopted families. And as we've seen, there are countless more waiting to be rehomed. To rehome a child here is breathtakingly easy. Parents who no longer want their kids simply sign them over to those who do. And that could be anyone. A desperate, loving parent-in-waiting or a monster. Okay, so you've seen the video. 
this is sad you know what this reminds me of there was a youtuber once who um got money from her followers on youtube went abroad adopted a boy from i don't know if it's china one of those countries in asia brought the boy back found out the boy had autism couldn't handle it then did the same thing she rehomed the boy rehomed him like there's no regulations there's no background check there's no nothing we're just gonna trade kids if we adopt some children we don't like them they're mentally disturbed they don't fit our schedule we'll just go to one of these shows and drop them off like here rehome this child why is that man interested in that 14 year old boy that single man it's giving me creepy vibes but that could be me this something not so and after six months if it you feel like it doesn't work out you come just come and drop the child off like it was some used toy what about these kids kids their mental and psychological what are they going through mentally and psychologically like how do they form attachments these kids have been through the ringer and to top it off we're adding more trauma to their trauma that they already have i'm dying to go to the comment section let's see what the subscribers have to say so the first um commenter says this could be also why the usa want to stop tiktok so the world will not find out about atrocities like this being the normal thing i agree next commenter says oh my god appalling doesn't even begin disposable children this is end stage capitalism next commenter says oh my god what else is there to say other than this is proof that the u.s is broken beyond repair next commenter says i can hardly take this in what kind of trauma and attachment problems will these poor children have and what kind of people will be at these markets that's the one what kind of people will be at these markets a couple of p a couple of r's you name it they can go there free for all next commenter says this is unreal like a dog shelter right next commenter says what in the world how is this allowed why is this legal i can't deal with the parading it makes me feel so sad i'm telling you that parading up and down is like trying to convince these people i know these kids need a home it was just sad it was just sad next commenter says they conferred their mess while educating other countries on how to live together hmm ironic next commenter says it is not often i am completely lost for words this is one of the most heartbreaking things i have ever seen say it again next commenter says human rights report was just recently released condemning russia iran china and india guess one country it did not do the research mm -hmm. we'll wait next commenter says tom teacher with no children interested in frank yeah i was side eyeing that one too tom if something happens we'll pursue it not gain nothing gain nothing lost that sounds fishy next commenter do participants get background checks and someone responded no background checks are any vetting done the last commenter says so they adopted then given back yes ma'am yes if you i got this video from this instagram page this is their handle if you would like to go follow them please do so over on tiktok and let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below catch you in the next video bye